Today I will be talking about intermittent fasting. I have received amazing questions from all of you. Today I will review some of them. Before I begin with the questions, let's talk about what is intermittent fasting. It is a eating pattern which has two phases. One is the eating phase and the other is the fasting phase. There are different variants of intermittent fasting like 16-8 in which you eat for 8 hours and you fast for 16 hours. 5 and 2 where you are fasting 2 days of the week. Alternate day fasting in which you eat one day and fast the other day. There is no hard and fast rule how it has to be done. One should only do what goes well with their body and preferably under professional guidance. Let's begin with the questions that have come in. Yes, I believe intermittent fasting is a healthy way of eating. It is no new trend or a fad diet. It is the most ancient eating pattern which our ancestors followed. I clearly remember my grandfather eating his dinner by 6 pm which kept me wondering why so early. Now when I follow it myself, I understand it gives enough time to digest the food and cleanse your body. So basically what happens when you do intermittent fasting? There is an increase in the growth hormone which increases the muscle and decrease in insulin which reduces body fat. There are a lot of benefits of intermittent fasting. Balance in hormones, improved digestion, regulation of blood sugar, reduction in muscle pains, better concentration and of course weight loss. You must always do what suits your body and what is sustainable. Start with 12-12 that is 12 hours of eating and 12 hours of fasting. So for example you have eaten your dinner at 7 pm, you can eat your next meal at 7 am. Then gradually you can go to 14-10 and then 16-8. Your body may take some time to adjust to this schedule but if you have constant acidity, headaches, you might want to choose to not continue. Anyway, you must consider eating an early dinner by 7 pm which automatically makes it a 12 hour fast at least. You must eat balanced meal which contains all the fine nutrients that is carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. Intermittent fasting is more effective if you eat 3 meals and can avoid the in-between snacks. Eat a good amount of protein at each meal which gives satiety and keeps you full for a longer time. It is ideally better if you do not snack in between but if you do want to make sure it's a protein snack like chana or some nuts. No, fasting is not recommended for kids and teenagers who are obese as they are in their growing age. But instead what you can do is restrict their sugar and snack intake. Yes, people with diabetes and hypertension can do intermittent fasting but they need to monitor their blood sugar and BP. If people with diabetes experience episodes of hypoglycemia, they need to monitor it or avoid it. Similarly, if people with hypertension experience episodes of low BP, they must either avoid it or do it with some close monitoring. Yes, absolutely, you can exercise in the fasting period. Your body needs energy to exercise and if you are overweight, you have stores in the form of fat which your body will use. And that is what you are looking for, right? To burn fat. You need to find out what works best for you. Do not follow it because it's trending. Adopt it only if it makes you feel better. If you found this video informative, do like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.